Hello and welcome everyone once again. In this video, we are going to learn how to create things dynamically on AWS IoT Core. So in the real world, there are problems when you have millions of devices and you want to register each of your device. You cannot go and register the things one by one on your IoT console manually. For example, let's say that there are millions of cars that has to be registered on the Uber website. You cannot go manually and register all the cars on the IoT platform manually. So instead what you can do, your users will go and register their device on the IoT console when they log in for the first time. And for that, you will have to expose a REST endpoint where you will be performing all that describe and create thing operations, right? So in this video, we are going to do that part only where we will be using Java and Spring Boot to describe the thing and create the thing on IoT console programmatically. We'll also be attaching the certificate and policy to this thing dynamically, right? So let's move on and we will cover this step by step. So let's go to our Spring Tool Suite. Let me first go to the dependencies section and add some of the dependencies that will be required throughout this project. So the dependency I have already noted down, let me explain it to you. So this is AWS Java SDK core dependency. I'm using the version 1.12.86. Whatever is the latest version, you can use that. And I'm also using the AWS Java SDK IoT 1.12.90. So let me copy this and keep it in our POM XML. Okay, so we have got the dependencies. The next thing is we have kept all our secrets client ID here itself. We will go and externalize all these things so that we can use it anywhere we want. We don't have to hard code. For that, I will create a class. Let me create the class in the DTO package itself. And I will name it app config. For the time being, I will not write each of the line one by one. I will just copy and paste it and explain it to you. Okay, so we are using the configuration properties and we will also be creating the setters and getters for these fields. Okay, so this is done. And the next thing that we will do is we will go to our resource application dot properties and here we will place all our credentials that is the client ID secret and the client endpoint. We are using this AWS extension as we have mentioned in our app config with the prefix this one right. And the next thing that we will do is we have to use these properties so we will have to initialize our client right. So let me go ahead and in the util package, I will go and make a class that will be initializing our client whenever we are calling anything and we will name that as AWS config. Okay, so we have to import all the dependencies. We are using the bin here. Then AWS IoT that is coming from our service IoT, the dependency that we just added and the app config let me import that class as well let me name it app config import the aws iot client builder and then we will use this aws static credential provider and in the credentials we will use the basic aws credentials and in the basic credentials we will just get the app config dot get access key id and app config dot get secret key id that will be taking it from application properties and with reason regions here we have to import it again and let me check what is the reason i'm using in the aws console so i am using ap south one ap south one that's the reason and after that build Right, so we are done with this one. You can have a full view of this class. So now the next thing that we are going to do 
is we are going to expose a rest endpoint that will be called when somebody is registering their device. So I will keep it post mapping. And in the argument, I will be taking the thing name. So this is our method name. Let me return a null value for now. Okay. So I will be making a service class that will be having all the logic of creating and describing the thing. So let me name that create thing service. create thing automatically I will be using this service class let me auto wire it and we don't have this service class right so we'll go ahead and create this service class It will be in our service package. And now let's create this method in our service class. So this create thing, this will take this thing name here as well. Let me give it string thing name and it will be coming from our path variable i have imported the path variable as well and let's go ahead and create this method in our service class let me change the return type of this method to a string and in this method what we will be doing first of all we will be checking if there is anything exist already or not right so for that if not of described thing thing name if it comes inside this loop that means that the thing does not exist right so we'll create thing and if it doesn't go inside this loop that means that thing exists so first of all this describe thing let me create the method describe thing and in this method let me do few checks if thing name is a null value in that case in that case there is no thing right in that case return false and let me add a try catch block and in try block let me go to call the describe thing api Okay, so this method we don't have it. So I will just create this method. And in the catch block, if I'm getting resource not found, in that case, I will return false. Okay, now let's come to the describe thing part here. In the describe thing response, we will be using the AWS describe thing request class that is provided by AWS to check if the thing exists or not. Let me do that coding quickly. So in this method, we'll be using the describe thing result that is from AWS and the describe thing response, the method name, the describe thing request that's a class provided by AWS. And in that we can set the thing name that we have to query. Let me do few changes here, okay describe thing request set name here iot client is the one that we created but we have not auto wired it let me auto wire it first we will also auto wire the app config
this is a service class let me check the annotation that is given in this aws config here as well we have to give the configuration and here as well in this class we have to give it at the rate component So the describe thing method is done if this method returns resource not found then we will set it to false right so we have done checking if the thing exists or not so this check is done so if the thing exists in that case we will return thing already exists but what happens when the thing it does not exist we have to create thing right so let me so let me quickly copy the method and paste it here so this create thing result we will be importing it is coming from our aws core and this create thing request let me just keep it to the next line okay so if the thing does not exist then create thing let me put some statements as well thing created successfully and in that case we will return so i hope we are done with it we are not using this response we can use this response in the further processing when we are creating the policy and the certificate we can use this response for future use now let me run the application my application is started let me open my postman and go to hit the request my endpoint is slash register slash thing name and the thing name that we will give is my channel name it's a post request and anything else required yes currently if i hit it it will give me some exception because the credentials are disabled the security credentials are disabled let me go and enable it for some time so my credentials are activated let's go to iot core console and see what are all the things available currently Okay, so we have two things here now let me now go and hit it okay so i got 200 but i am not getting the message here i will check that in some time let me first go to the iot console and check what happened click on refresh and you can see that new thing is created let me check why i am not getting the response in the postman thing created successfully clear the console and okay so here we are returning null that's why let me remove this statement and i will return whatever the value that we get from our service class let me restart my application and now let me go to postman and this thing is already created so let's see what we are getting thing already exists on iot console let me give techno tab one thing created successfully we can come and verify that in our iot console so it's working perfectly the next thing is adding the policies and certificate to this thing so that will be your task and if you are able to add certificate and policies to this thing successfully you can write in the comment section
if you are facing any difficulties i will give you the answer in the comment section itself so that's it for this video thanks for watching